John Marcos with Scuba Nashville. Today we're going to talk about nitrox, enriched air diving nitrox. Um, what is nitrox? Why would you dive nitrox? And when would you want to dive nitrox? What is enriched air nitrox? Or more importantly for this class, what is recreational enriched air nitrox? Well, you guys all been dive boats before. You see your standard normal tank. It's normal in the tanks. It's got air in it. Air is 21% oxygen, 79% nitrogen. Now, a nitrox tank has increased levels of oxygen in it. So this nitrox tank has anywhere from 22% oxygen added to it, all the way up to 40%. Now, over 40% is considered technical. We don't, we're not going to teach that. That's a special class that TDI teaches a very good advanced nitrox class, all the way up to 100% nitrox. But for recreational purpose, enriched air diving, we're only going to do nitrox up to 40%. So an enriched air nitrox tank is anything from 21 or 22 up to 40%. Now, this nitrox tank has to be labeled nitrox. As this tank is a normal standard tank, we have special labels we have to put on them, special um, stickers, what blend is and all that. You'll learn that in your nitrox class. So why do we dive nitrox? We dive nitrox primarily for longer bottom times and shorter surface intervals. The reason why we have longer bottom times is because remember this tank has less nitrogen in it. The nitrogen is no longer absorbing as much in our body so we can stay in the water longer. So remember when you guys got your open water certification. You were only allowed to stay in the water a certain amount of time. Like at, at 50 feet you could stay in the water for 80 minutes. At 80 feet you could stay in the water for 30 minutes. Well that's with air. Now if we change that to nitrogen or enriched air nitrox the reduced amount of nitrogen in this tank allows us to stay in the water longer. For instance, with Nitrox 32, you can stay in the water for 155 minutes. With Nitrox 36, you can stay under the water 220 minutes. Now guys, you're never going to dive 220 minutes unless you're just really good on air. Another reason for diving Nitrox is some people say you feel better. Now we know that's not a scientific fact, but I personally know I do feel better. We're diving Bon Air. After three or four days of diving on nitrox, I don't feel so bad. Diving on air, I'm starting to get tired and worn out. So again, why do we dive nitrox? Longer bottom time, shorter surface intervals, reduces your nitrogen absorption, and my personal favorite, I feel better if I dive with nitrox. So when should you dive nitrox? Well, you may dive nitrox anytime. The most beneficial time is multiple dives, especially multiple dives over multiple days. Now there is a sweet spot for nitrox. The sweet spot is between 50 feet and 100 feet, or 50 feet to 80 feet, depends on who you talk to. Um, there's also a maximum operating depth for nitrox. You want to make sure you know what your mix is and how deep you're allowed to go. You can learn about that in class. There's formulas we can do, and also your dive computer tells you about it. So the next is who may dive nitrox? Well, anyone may dive nitrox who is a certified nitrox diver. During the class, you will learn about some safety issues. The most important one is maximum operating depth. So how do I get Enriched Air Nitrox certified? Click on the link in the description. If you're in the Nashville area, come see us. We'll complete your certification. If you're not in the Nashville area, give us a call. We will help you find an instructor near you. So you're already Nitrox certified. You go Nitrox diving, you plug the numbers into your computer. Computer tells you how deep you can go, how long you can stay down. And you guys remember in your open water class, you learned that every 33 feet is equal to one atmosphere of pressure. So if you were diving in the ocean, you go down 33 feet, that would be two atmospheres of pressure. Because you have the one from here, this is from here to outer space is one atmosphere. Then every 33 feet is another atmosphere. So the 33 feet, there'd be two atmospheres, one from here to outer space, two atmospheres. Another 33 feet, three, four, and five. You guys all learned that in your open water class. What they might not have told you is the air you're breathing right now is 21% oxygen and 79% nitrogen. So right now at one atmosphere of pressure, you're at 21% oxygen, 79% nitrogen. Now if we go down deeper in the ocean, the air down there is more concentrated because it's getting compressed and you're breathing it from compressed air out of your scuba tank. So the air you're breathing is more concentrated. So the air you're breathing right now is 21% oxygen, 79% nitrogen. The deeper you go, the more dense the air gets because it's getting more compressed. So if you go two atmospheres of pressure, it's the equivalent of breathing two times 21%. Let's change these numbers to make them easier, guys. Let's go 80 and 20, just to make it simpler. So if you're down two atmospheres of pressure, the oxygen you're breathing now is 40%. It's two times two. Two times eight, the 
the nitrogen you're breathing is 160%. Now guys, we know 160% doesn't sound right. That's why they call it partial pressure. So we're going to call it percentages, but the real term is partial pressure. So if you're diving with 160%, it's actually 1.6 partial pressure. 160%, if you're diving at three atmospheres of pressure, three times two would be 60% oxygen, three times eight is 240% nitrogen. The nitrogen is starting to build up in you because your body's absorbing that extra added percentage. That's why we have to learn the dive tables, because the deeper you go, the more concentrated, the more dense the air is, the more molecules are soaking in or absorbed into your body. So let's say at four atmospheres, 100 feet, at four atmospheres, it's like breathing 80% oxygen, and it's the equivalent of breathing 320% nitrogen. So we've learned that the limiting factor is the nitrogen building up in us, because at 50 feet deep, we can only stand the water for 80 minutes because we're diving with the equivalent of 200% nitrogen that starts soaking in. So when we dive in rich air, what they do is they'll change that. They'll change it to say 40% oxygen, 60% nitrogen. Now the most common blends for nitrox are 32 and 36, but for teaching, I'm going to show you 40%. Now recreational nitrox, you not go over 40%. The recreational nitrox or rec recreational enriched air diver is anything from 21 up to 40%. 40% oxygen, 60% nitrogen. At three atmospheres, I have three times that. I've only got 180%. So I have a lot less nitrogen in me at three atmospheres. Instead of 240%, I have 180%. Now, you guys remember, it's partial pressures, not percentages. Now, while I've got you here, I'm going to show you a simple formula to figure out how deep you can go with any given depth. And the two numbers you need to remember is 1.6 and 1.4. 1.4 being your partial pressure of oxygen, 1.6 being your partial pressure, absolute drop dead maximum partial pressure of oxygen. Let me show you this formula. The atmosphere, so our atmosphere, APA, times our mix, that must equal to 1.4 or less. If you say this mix is 32%, to figure out how deep you can go, you just take, how deep can I go? Well, using simple formula, take this, 0.32. Got it? So now my atmosphere is going to be equal to this. 1.4 divided by 0.32 gives us an atmosphere of 4.375. Now, guys, this atmosphere here also includes this atmosphere here. That's very important. So remember, 4.375 is my actual atmosphere, including the one of air. Don't forget to take that air out. So I'm going to do 4.375 times 33 feet is equal to 144 feet deep. 140 feet deep minus the air. So minus 33 feet for this air is equal to, guys, Everyone knows we can dive 32% at 111 feet. People will always usually say 110 feet because you'll learn this in class too. We got fresh water and salt water. One weighs more than the other. You'll learn about that in class. But this, this little formula here tells you real quickly how to figure out how deep you can go. My atmosphere times my mix is equal to 1.4. If you know this number, you can figure out this number. If you know this number, you can figure out what's my maximum What's my maximum mix I can have at this depth? Say you're on a dive boat and they say, well, the dive's going to be an 85 foot dive. And which blend do you want? So if they told you the dive's 85 feet, now here's one extra step we got to take. We got to convert that 85 feet to atmospheres because remember, this is atmosphere. Now, to convert 85 feet to an atmosphere, it's pretty simple, guys. We know that 85 feet divided by 33 will give me how many atmospheres? Well, 85 divided by 33 gives us 2.58 atmospheres. Now, guys, remember earlier we had to worry about the surface air, the surface of the, the air up here, which is not 33 feet? Well, this one doesn't include it, so we have to include it in. So this is 3.58. Don't forget to either add the 33 feet in for this atmosphere or take the 33 feet out.
Now we're working with 85 feet deep, divided by 33 gives us 2.58, which would be just divided by 33, but this one is also equal to 33, but it's no feet, it's just air surface. So now we have an atmosphere, we know our atmosphere, it's 3.58. 3.58. We don't know our mix, so we can do it real simple. 1.4 divided by 3.58 is equal to 3.4 is equal to guys 39%. So you can get this thing blended 39%, and the maximum depth you can go is 85 feet. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget, click the like button, share us on Facebook, and all that other crap.